You know that Dedell Seeds has carved themselves a niche in the market by offering non-GMO seeds and hybrids. This is Vince Trudell. He is the founder over 18 years ago. He founded the company. Tell us what's new this year for Dedell Seeds. Well, we have four new hybrids that we've just introduced uh, to go with six new hybrids that we introduced last year for a total of 10 out of our 36 that we have in our portfolio. Each hybrid is a unique, has unique characteristics fitting in with other hybrids being companions and uh, filling in all the gaps in maturities. We have wide range from 2200 to 3400 heat units. Okay. Why would a farmer choose Dedell non-GMO seeds over uh, modified ones? Well, first of all, the uh, cost of seed is, is much more reasonable. There's no tech fees to be paid. Okay. And um, well, there's sometimes premiums being paid and our seed can provide bumper crops as well as any other brand out there. And if our farmers are feeding livestock, the feed is more nutritious and uh, livestock are happier and healthier and many reasons. Right. Why? What makes Dedell Seeds different from other companies? Well, when neonicotinoid insecticide seed treatments were introduced, uh, we were the only company at that time giving the farmers, the customers, a choice as to which seed treatments they would like to use. Now that it's um, there's mandatory testing and uh, government regulations and digging holes and baiting those holes and checking for the necessity of neonicotinoids, we've simply got out of that market and, and have switched to Fertenza, an insecticide, a different group of insecticides, giving the same if not better control, especially better control against cutworm. Okay. And also when you call Dedell, a real person answers the phone, right? And it's family owned, correct? Right. Yes. Family owned. Very good. Family owned. So tell me what you see in the future or the next five years. What do you see in the market happening? Well, the uh, food industry is a $550 billion industry. And uh, just recently there was a survey in the U.S. And the U.S. consumers would like, 89% of the survey said that they would like their food labeled if it has GMOs in it. So there's a real rise in non-GMO, the desire for non-GMO foods. And that market is just skyrocketing right now. Very good. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. I'm with James Armstrong. He lives in Huron County and did a test plot of corn last year. Tell me about that, James. Okay, I had about uh, nine genetically modified uh, varieties, and then I had um, Dedell 4444. And then when we weighed them off, it was just amazing. Um, all the genetically modified ones had about four or five cutworm holes into the cob and 30 inches over that Dedell was just as clean we couldn't believe it actually yeah. so uh, this year I actually switched everything 100% to uh, Dedell this year yeah. and you have yet to harvest that right? yet to harvest but I actually had a neighbor drive by and tell me I got the best looking corn on the road there so very good <laughs>